Good morning guys, it's Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill and today I'm just taking you around with me as I get stuff done. I did make the Mississippi pot roast and that is in the crock pot and I will show you guys how to put that together and just doing some stuff around the homestead because it seems like that's what I always do. It never ends. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye! For dinner tonight, I'm gonna make Mississippi pot roast. So right here I have, this is just a chuck roast right here. And I gotta go in the pantry and grab the other ingredients. So let's go. So welcome to my pantry. So for this, we are going to need some Lipton onion soup mix. I have some right here. And then we need some ranch, ranch. I know I have some around here somewhere. That's not it. Oh, there we go. Ranch right there. So, and this is a small tour of my pantry. So we're also going to need some French onion soup. So I have some right here. So when I put that up, I am going to put this one down. And the next thing we need is right here, some pepperoncini peppers. So that is everything we need from the pantry. And buddy got a haircut yesterday. Are you a pretty boy? Are you a pretty boy? Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is put this in the crock pot and it is frozen, but that's fine because this is gonna cook all day. I'm gonna turn that around, just like that. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Thing we're gonna do is open our French onion soup and pour that on top. Just like that. And then we're gonna take our Lipton onion soup mix. And then we're gonna sprinkle that on top. Just like that. And then the same thing with our ranch. So then I gotta get a stick of butter. Doing this at seven o'clock in the morning, so I'm still in my pajamas. But I want to get a start on this because it is um it's frozen, so it takes all day. I usually cook it probably on medium for eight hours. Um, you could probably cook it on high for six hours and low probably eight to ten hours. I'm gonna place the butter chunks on top. Just like that. Next, I have the pepperoncini peppers. Now, this does not make it spicy unless you add too many of them. It really just gives it a really good flavor. I'm gonna grab the next jar and add a couple more. I usually put like six to eight of them in. One more. And just like that and then I'm gonna put the cover on it I'm gonna turn it on I am going to put it on medium and six hours and just let it go 
So I will check back in with you guys later and let you know what it looks like after a few hours. I've got to take Onyx to the vet today. I have a lot to do. So you'll see me periodically through the video. Bye. I wanted to show you guys how beautiful it is here on the homestead right now. All our pear trees are blossoming and it's, <laughs> it's gorgeous. After three hours of the Mississippi pot roast cooking, doesn't that look good? It smells really good too. So, just doing a check in with that check up on the greenhouse and see how it's doing because I got some stuff I gotta put in here yesterday have cucumbers and peppers in this one but they are sprouting a little bit, so we're going to cover that back up. And then in this one, I have cherry tomatoes and just regular tomatoes. And then this one, I have peas and green beans, and those are really doing good. And then my tomato plant, and then I've given some salad greens too. And then my lettuce here is doing really good. I have spinach and romaine there, so I'm gonna cover this back up so the moisture stays in it. And I have parsley and chamomile. And then this one is mixed seeds into that one. So I'm gonna cover that one back up. And then here, I have oregano and cilantro, and you can tell they are growing. So that one. And then thyme and rosemary, and they are, see, they're sprouting. And then in this one, I have lavender and basil, and they're sprouting as well. We have basil there, and then that's my winter basil. And then rosemary, thyme, and that is lavender. And then we have all our sweet potatoes on the bottom still. So that's it for inside the greenhouse for now. I'm still gonna be planting a lot more in here. Eat in the moisture season. The 
last thing I have to do are these right here. I have some flower pots. And then I have a flower pot here. And then all around the pool, those will all be onions, peppers, and um, potatoes. And then over there is where I grow my um, tomatoes. Cucumbers, I have planting over there. I have planting over here. We're gonna do some more. And this weekend, we are going to work on the pool. We have a leak in the corner, so that's why the water's down so low, but we're going to clean it because it is disgusting. Start shocking it, cleaning it, fill it, and get the pool back up and running. I am very excited for that because today it was already 81 degrees out. And I have some more flowers here that I'm gonna be planting outside, but I'm not doing it today. I'm getting tired, I did so much yesterday. Well, thanks for coming with me today as I do some errands and I'll make sure to put the recipe for the Mississippi pot roast in the description box below. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.